News we've been following throughout the newscast. Kilauea volcano on the Big Island once again erupting. Take a look. This is a live look at Halima'uma'u crater at this hour where the eruption is contained. Now cracks are forming along the surface of the crater and smoke is rising. You can see it there. Lava is also encroaching on the western part of the floor. The volcano is currently under a red alert level. There's no threat to any communities at this time. And joining us now live from the Big Island is Hawaii Volcano Observatory scientist in charge, Ken Hahn. Ken, thank you so much for joining us. We know how busy you are. Now, the lava, we were just taking a live look. It is confined to the crater right at this point, but it does look like it's expanding. So what's the very latest? Well, it is. It's within Halima'uma'u crater, um, the same place that the previous two summit eruptions have taken place. And what it's doing right now is covering the crater floor and it's covered the old lava lake as well that was there on the crater floor. Um, so it's it's not going to get any further than the prior eruptions did. It's just covering the surfaces that the, those prior eruptions made. Ken, I know there were a couple of, of uh, earthquakes this morning on the Big Island, but how surprised were you to see it erupting this afternoon? Well, it, it was a little bit sooner than we thought, but we've been tracking. We, we've never been completely uh, sure that Kilauea went fully back <laughs> to sleep, uh, but it did take a Christmas break. And but there's been um, pulses of seismic activity in the past two weeks, and they really stepped up this last week. And our seismologists detected at about three this afternoon uh, a very uh, strong pattern of earthquakes beneath Halima'uma'u, very closely spaced, that indicated not only were cracks opening, but there was magma coming into those cracks. So. Uh, it took about an hour and a half or yeah, about an hour and a half for it to come up. And at 434, the lava hit the surface. Um, so we got a pretty good warning on this one. We got an hour and a half on this one, which was nice. And we're taking a look at the images. They're pretty incredible right now. Now, I, uh, I know it might be hard to gauge, but what do you expect moving forward? Any way to say what we can expect for the next coming days or even weeks or months? Sure. I mean, what's happened is that the eruption here paused for about a month, right? And we have a new one going. So it's stored up lava, so there's some extra lava. So at the start of all these um, summit lava eruptions, the lava comes out in much higher volume at the beginning. We expect it to taper off in the next 24 to 48 hours and kind of go back down to that normal rate where it can't sustain this, you know, covering the entire surface of the lava lake. So this is like really beautiful stuff going on right now. Um, and we expect it to kind of taper down and we'll probably construct another shallow lava lake someplace out in the center of Halima'uma'u. Ken, I had read a report that Mauna Loa and Kilauea share a connection deep underground somewhere. Might we see activity with Mauna Loa again? Well, <laughs> I don't know what report you read about that, <laughs> but we know that the there is no fluid connection. The magma comes from completely different sources. Uh, the volcanoes kind of form families, and Mauna Loa and Hualai and Loihi are, are in one family, and then Kilauea, Mauna Kea, and Kohala are in another family. Did we lose Constantly, it? there's been a lot of speculation about interactions between the two, um, and we're still trying to work that out at this time. All right, Ken Hahn, thank you so much again for joining us. We really appreciate the update. And of course, we'll be monitoring this as you will. Uh, and we'll check back with any updates later on. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.